For you to have a feel of a song, I shall provide an English translation in the slide, and let me sing this song to you in its original Filipino version. Istambay wag mo kahapakin Istambay ay nakakatulong din Kung mayroon na matay sa mga kapitbahay Istambay ang siyang naglalaman my, my personal encounter with the Istambays the scarcity of academic research and the lack of research about them motivated me to inquire into the following research questions What is Istambay? Who are the Philippine Istanbai? When in activities experienced, what follow factors allow them to get by in their everyday lives? What do Istanbais aspire and hope for in the future? And during an activity, what impact do family and religion have on the well-being of Istanbai? Answering these questions was challenging in both theoretically and methodologically. In the first chapter, in the first part of chapter two, I, I offered the discussion of theories of, of youth and generation. Among them, I found Mill's personal trouble versus public issue dichotomy and Rudu's theory of practice using the concept of social fields, forms of capital, and habits useful in my attempt to theoretically and empirically explore the Istanbul phenomenon. In reviewing the literature, I contextualized the discussion of youth inactivity relative to three issues of concern youth, exclu youth exclusion and marginalization, youth transition, and youth employment, unemployment. I discovered that each of these topics contributed to the understanding of youth inactivity in different but related ways. Further, I reviewed the various ethnographies, cross-cultural youth literatures, and Philippine-based studies and discovered that indeed there is a gap in knowledge about the Philippine Istanbites. I explored the Istanbite phenomenon because in my view, the Istanbul thesis would reveal substantial insights about the nature and structure of Philippine society and my country's relations with the global world from the perspective of a disadvantaged <coughs> subsector of youth. Methodologically, I chose mixed methods of research design because of the following. One, it's practical. Since no national longitudinal data set for Filipino youth activity or inactivity was available. Two, it's created due to the use of multiple sources of data. And three, to instructive due to my interest in demonstrating how quantitative and qualitative data could be integrated to produce meaningful research insights. The main data analyzed were the Young Adult Fertility uh, and Sexuality Study 2002 conducted by the University of the Philippines Population Institute and case studies. The primary focus of analysis is the self-reported mean activity variable and the youth life histories. But I also have youth supplementary data, perceptual data, and survey, parental and teachers' interviews, focus group songs, and internet postings. Quantitative data was analyzed using descriptive statistics and multinomial logistic regression using SPSS, while qualitative data were subjected to coding process, narrative and thematic analysis, and dialogic reporting uh, with the use of and through the use of Atlas TI program. My employment of mixed methods was guided by the following principles. The principle of complementarity, my use of quantitative data to build my qualitative cases, the emphasis of reporting thick description of my case studies, and my interest of integrating data at multiple research stages. Now, to answer my first and second research question, in Chapter 4, I analyzed the multi-data from local dictionaries, perceptual survey songs, and standby experiences of youth case studies. And I found five research findings. One, that the concept of standby suggests a generalized negative view rooted in individual effects such as being lazy, having low self-esteem, or high engagement in socially problematized behavior such as smoking and drinking. Two, that Istanbul is indeed a social problem located within the interlocking issues of forced inactivity and unemployment. For example, Herbert Bertolome's song pleads the case of Istanbul away from stigma and appeals that they fully recognize as a wandering lost sector in Philippine society, urgently needing a sense of direction. Listening to this country folk song makes one feel 
the Istanbul pain of being lost. and their perceptions of the future are held together by the familial faith dynamic. 